All right, my beautiful nieces, I decided I'm going to communicate with you via videos. I'm going to send you a video a day that tackles what financial freedom is, what, what abundance is. How do you get from, you know, I don't have enough to I have everything I need. How do you go from not enough to abundance? And, and, and for me, it's a, quite a journey and I really want to talk to you about it because growing up, we did not talk about money and we did not have enough of it. And on top of it, uh, I saw both, I mean, especially my mom and my dad work hard, 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 like long hours uh, for many years, like 30 years to, um, you know, eventually my mom built her own home, uh, which I'm really, it's incredible and it's, it's um, recommendable, but my generation and yours specifically uh, get to do it a bit differently. Uh, I learned about money late in my life. Uh, I, I had to, you know, kind of, it took a long time for me. Um, it was hard because, you know, I didn't have a good relationship with money. I thought, you know, I don't need it. Only, you know, corrupt people, rich people, uh, have it and, and, and you don't need money to be happy and money is uh, I don't care for it right so I had every bad association with money and um, uh, it didn't help that uh, you know for a long time my parents paid for everything so I didn't care right they paid for my rent my meal I took care of everything, so I did not know what it meant. I thought it grow in, into trees, um, and I didn't care for it, right? So I was so careless. I remember when I was in New York City, I made so much money, and I, end of the month, I had nothing. It was like almost like I had a hole in my hand, and money come, come, come in and goes out. And, uh, I still remember to this day, 10 years after being in New York, and I have worked the hardest in my life, and I was thinking about, I, I can't even remember that moment, but I still remember that I, I, find, I found myself in this really interesting place where I didn't have any savings, I still was a renter, giving money to rent, uh, I was working hard, but I was feeling like that mouse in that lab that was running fast, 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 and going nowhere. And I picked up a book, and that changed my whole journey with money. Believe me, I spent 10 years in New York working hard, uh, you know, being paid well, and none of it, nothing to show for it. And then after that book, I decided to do something that changed everything. I decided to change my attitude and my mindset about money. I decided to learn about it. I mean, I'm a, I'm a good student. I learned everything, but this time I wanted to master what do people that are financially independent do? What do they do different than all of us? At least uh, in America, there's a lot of people that are, you know, paycheck to paycheck, paycheck to paycheck. What are they doing differently? What is their mindset? What do they believe? What do they do? And how do they get there? So I became a student and, I, and the reason I'm doing this video is because I really want you guys to be curious and understand that your relationship with money, your feelings about money can change, right? You can go from, I don't know it, I'm scared of it, my mom pays for everything and I'm just gonna throw it out in the window because I, or to, Hey, I'm, I'm the master of my destiny. I want 10 years from now, have this lifestyle. I don't want to be paycheck to paycheck. I don't want to be like, hey, you know, I don't know it, I don't care. And by the way, um, I'm in big trouble when a crisis like what we're living today, COVID-19 hits, because I have no safety net and I'm gonna be like two paychecks from being outside. So the reason I wanted to talk about this with you guys is because I want you to think about it now. You're young, you're, you're young. 10 years from now, my goodness, you will be like, oh my God, I'm so happy I started now because now not only I own my home, I have investment properties, I have invested in the stock market, 
I understand this thing. I have the formula and I can pass it on to my children. And I hope that when you have children, you have these discussions when they're young, very young, as, long, as much as they have to learn about math and algebra and philosophy, they need to understand money. They need to have a healthy relationship to it. It is a tool. I love having it so I can give it away. I can give it to my family, to you guys. I can invest so you guys don't have to, you know, like, like have to start from zero. Generation, I believe in our responsibility for the next generation. Give them more knowledge, give them more confidence, love them unconditionally, but give them the tools. And this is a tool I'm gonna do, I'm gonna give you, but I'm gonna ask one thing from you. As much as I'm gonna sit here and, and give all the stuff that I learned and that I wish someone told me when I was your age, I want you guys to do the work, to change whatever needs to change because with financial freedom comes um, change of attitude, right? A believe in oneself. Uh, no more bad talking of, I don't know how, so, it, so I'm gonna just let it go. I, I, how, what are you talking about? Uh, buying a home? Oh no, I don't have the money and I, all that attitude and negative talking need to go out of the window. And you need to be ch like, a, ch like someone who trains for a marathon. You need to be confident. You need to uh, read about it, master it. You need to take notes, write down your vision board and own it. You don't write it just for the sake of feeling like, oh, I did my homework. No, homework is great. Reading is great. Uh, getting the formulas are great, but unless you do something about it and you start today, step by step, small, then big, then bigger steps, you're not going to get there. So what I can do from my end is share all these things that I learned and help you throughout and here, be here to answer any questions you have and motivate you and really challenge you to go and listen every day to a TED talk or to YouTube of someone who made it, not the, uh, not the people that don't have anything to add to the conversation, but the people that are doing it. If you listen to them and, and, and all you feed in your mind now and brain is this, I can do it. I am doing it. Watch me. That's the three things I always say to myself. I'm, I'm, I don't have time for negatives. I don't have time for, I can't do it, uh, show me. No, I am here to tell you that wherever you're gonna submerge yourself, whether it's about money or love or relationship, you're gonna submerge yourself with is what your brain is gonna feel and think possible and that's what you're gonna manifest. So uh, I will start by saying I'm so excited we're doing this together. I'm gonna tell you again that there is a formula to, to success. There is a formula to passive income. There is a formula to abundance. Very easy. You follow it, you get there. But it starts first by understanding your relationship to it. Getting rid of the garbage. You know, what my parents did worked for them, amen. That did never, in my time, get me to financial freedom. It would get me to work hard, get the minimum, buy whatever you need, and then be negative or maybe close at the end. It doesn't work because 30 years from now, you'll be having the same job, you'll be a renter, and God knows, hopefully no crisis will hit so you're not in, 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 in a bad place. So these conversations need to be had and I'm glad that you are ready to receive it. I'm gonna send you this video and my next one will be about the mindset, the emotional relationship we have money with money. I'm gonna start with the basic, the foundation that we're gonna put and we're gonna do it together. The foundation has to be really challenged. You need to get all the garbage, all the stuff that you have seen your parents do, not do, all their relationship. There are some parents that are like, have this relationship with money and there are the parents that have this relationship with money and it doesn't matter at this moment, it's your own relationship and you need to own it. You need to get out the, I call it the garbage, out. And you need to be having that kind of, a, write it down. Say, I'm, I'm owning it today. I'm gonna get that. And I will 
make it so 10 years from now, I'm financially free. I can retire. I can have a life where I am the master and the, the master of my destiny. I'm not sitting there, a worker bee, waiting for a paycheck. And if the paycheck goes, then God knows, I'm, I'm, I'm done. So use your youth and your curiosity and your passion and use what I share with you as a guide that show you that whatever you believe in, you will achieve. So I'll let you with that, these thoughts, I want from you to um, write me your vision board. And, and don't think, how am I going to get there? No, vision board for your life. What is it? I wanna, whatever it is. And, and I want you to put a vision board also for the financial freedom and abundance that you're thinking. What? your thoughts. Once you write it down, I want to take that vision board and work with it and, and see how we can go from today, it doesn't matter where you start, to having passive income and properties that will send you, they give you money and passive cash flow. Alrighty? So I love you guys and I hope you're doing well and staying safe and I hope that you use that mind of yours in a way that is a tool for you, you know, and that you make it work for you. Love you.